let's see what happens is lost in los angeles let's fi let's figure out what's going on in los angeles Los Angeles, the land of big dreams, Angeles. flourishing creativity, progressive policies, tropical beaches, and diverse culture, or a dystopian hellscape overflowing <laughs> with uncontrollable criminals, rampant substance abuse, the war of the crackheads, abysmal city planning, and the most insane. How do you drive through this? What is this? Huh? Substance abuse, abominable Whoa. infrastructure, abysmal city. That looks like hell, you don't? I would not! ...planning and the most insufferable, fake, egotistical, hypocritical people on planet Earth. Well, to preface this video, I'm sure some of you live in LA, and I'm sure you're all nice people, okay? So I spewed a quick section, things I like about LA. Number one, a cheeseburger. Apparently it was invented in LA, as well as the egg muck... No, the cheeseburger was invented in Germany. Muffin. Two abundant sunbathing opportunities. The weather's perfect <laughs> and you got beautiful bodies of water like the LA Hell River yeah. and the shark infested riptide laden North Pacific Ocean. Or if you really you, want Baka. to get that tan going, Death Valley National Park. Number three. Uh, Hassan's house. I like it because Hassan has Wow Mao locked in the basement editing TikToks, and I appreciate him getting rid of all my competition on this platform. Yeah. <laughs> Number four, California City. Now, not many people know about this suburban city in Los Angeles County, but personally, I really like the architecture of every single house they built here. And number five, all the good comedy, films, music, and art that's come out of Los Angeles over the years. After all, LA is Thank you, the boys. I really appreciate that. America. I mean, the electric guitar was literally invented here however oh, the that's problem cool with la being the american entertainment capital is that realistically it's just the place where art gets turned into commercial products that people like this guy can make billions off this is perfectly portrayed dude i wish i was in demonic talk shows based out of la <laughs> <laughs> yeah i've heard that's uh, you either i've heard that you either love Los a you lo either love LA or you hate it. Like it, but I've heard that it smells and it's really expensive there. That's all I know. Got to be the most American. I British lived there for six ever, years. And he possesses How one has of the it most been? defining LA personality traits. He's too happy. Everyone in LA is too happy, blood. They all think they're main characters or something. Shouting down their iPhone 15s with all their sh That's because they always assume they're on TV. They think that they're, they're probably some, they maybe, maybe they, I'm just guessing, but maybe they're like, they always think that somebody's recording. So they got to represent themselves happy and cheerful and all good. Shiny white teeth glistening. LA is Paris really of America. Any of these delusionally happy Wait, so are people super racist there and try like push you down and like hate you and don't want to be supportive and don't want to talk to you and all foods taste bad. The whole area smells like shit. Is that basically LA? Oh, okay, all right. The LA freaks were forced to eat a soggy Tesco meal deal. You're nailing it. All right. Wet bus stop sat next to a passed out cheese head in the outskirts of Birmingham. They would just revert back into being normal humans. Angelinos have got to be the most clout minded people on the planet. You can get anything in LA if you got some clout. For example, Big Arnold was the state governor for eight years. <laughs> what? Now, I think the guy was great in Terminator, but what the f does he know about what? governing a state? This is just oh, a no. Oh my body dude i don't know it's just like that this city needs muscles <laughs> that is sick the old man from austria i didn't know that lower than average brain capacity Holy. due to taking enough anabolic steroids to kill a dinosaur in the 70s really los angeles is just a valley full of hopeful people trying to achieve their dreams which sounds nice but ends up as a pyramid of fragile egos in which each individual is desperately leeching off whoever is the next level up in a frantic thrashing competition to get from the deep sea to the twilight zone and i think the peak of this la main character syndrome is the internet niche where so-called influencers film themselves giving out money to homeless isn't it i've never experienced this but isn't it awkward to like walk by or see people like doing some weird tiktoks in the streets i i i wonder do somebody like stop traffic to do these things and stuff like do they create chaos or are they just minding their own business i feel like it would be a little bit awkward now it's kind of normal i guess i kind of find it i don't know 
I remember I saw once a girl like this. I never see this. Like I saw once, one time a girl live stream goes to the grocery shop and like live stream on her phone and she was like talking th to it. I thought that was kind of awkward. I don't know why. And even me that has been living on Twitch for ages and seen in real life streaming and watch a lot of it. But just seeing it in real life, it was kind of awkward. So I wonder like how it is to see those people that are dancing in the streets and doing random TikToks just out of the blue. I, I, I don't know. And I feel like LA will be the city where you see that on a regular basis. You will see that every five minutes. And that's the that's why I kind of bring it up. <laughs> people on Skid Row, either to make profit or to make people in New York City to airport to film TikToks. Oh my god! Their own egos. But like, oh, congratulations, bro! You just funded like twenty-seven fent over and people will applaud this stuff in the comments, Woo! saying like, "Yo, politicians would never Fentanyl. help these people out like you do." And I think the target audience for this you type should of be a president, like Republican dads. And I find <laughs> it so funny when patriotic Americans who love their financial individualism also wonder why their downtown is full of drug addicts and why the politicians they vote for don't do anything to help this crisis bro this system you are so proud of literally incentivizes doctors to prescribe people thousands of medications they don't need the selling of medicine in the u.s is literally a pyramid scheme just instead of getting sigma males to sign up to hustlers university we're getting vulnerable americans addicted to opiates no. leading that's to tragic epidemics like what we see in downtown la specifically Jesus. skid row this area is pretty much a no-go zone even though you can still find hipsters munching away on their avocado toast in these apartment blocks looking out of their penthouse windows appreciating the gritty urban Dude. environment hipsters have absolutely taken over the hoods of LA I mean what? there are literally coffee roasteries in f***ing Compton despite this being the situation on the streets LA is one of the most expensive cities in America. We're talking Switzerland level prices. We're talking Monaco level prices. We're talking Iceland level prices. Damn. The, the country. So to demonstrate how expensive LA really is, I opened up Zillow and set my location to Los Angeles. How Isn't the point of like an expensive area to be like kind of a little bit more posh and clean and since it's cost so much that people have put time into helping the needy and making sure that like everybody has good living conditions and the streets are clean and the roads are good isn't that like the point of living in a like a a, a town or a city that is super expensive why does this look like a like why does this look like um like the the fiction of hell how much do you think this old crusty bungalow is going for? Pause the video right now and make your guess. And most of the time, yes, but LA, LA, the point is to be famous, period. So people don't give a shit. Okay. 0.8 million dollars. What about this literal bando, which was absolutely destroyed in a fire? Oh my if clicks, you closely, I need more clicks. Also, instead of a garden, the house backs onto a constantly congested, noisy, fume emitting five lane freeway. And across the street, there's what looks to be a rubbish. Dump. There is so Take much trash. 400 grand for a fucking bando. All right, finally, what? we got this one. It's got a pool and a fire pit, guys. Ooh. So you already know we're talking big money. And whilst it's obviously nicer than all the others we've seen so far it's still one story tall remember this is just a glorified flashy bungalow all right pause the vid and make your guess now you it's 10 million you are wrong it was oh. none of these options on the screen because this house is currently on sale for 85 million bro <laughs> Dollars. Maybe after seeing these ludicrous property prices, you get a better idea why so many people. <laughs> like the thing is that I was thinking 10 million and I was overpricing it. Right. I was overpricing it in my mind because I was thinking LA, he's he's putting it out like it's super expensive there. Living condition is super expensive to buy a place and stuff like that. And I was thinking that 10 million is already over the top for what he presented there, right? And now you're not now now I don't have words. I don't I don't know. <laughs> Out of the American homeless population, 40% are employed and work jobs. They literally just can't afford housing. But to Jesus. really get your empathy going, you can watch me doing a homeless challenge for 48 hours in LA whilst I get thousands of dollars in ad revenue to fund my cool Venice Beach artsy hippie house where me and my politically correct friends make thought provoking content. I Skid feel like Mo this is, is personal. Only one of the many <laughs> neglected and unsanitary 
parts of Los Angeles. Another example is the LA River. Once a picturesque, crystal clear, gold rich waterway, Once. now is one of the most polluted flowing bodies of water in the Bro, world. Bro, you're about to create a different kind of creature in that. There's gonna be, there's probably some kind of beings that we have not yet documented that's gonna be spawning in the LA water one day. Basically, the snowmelt and rainwater from up here just passes through the city, sucking up so much industrial and urban Jesus. waste that it consistently reaches a hundred <laughs> like rivers where zombies spawn. Than the federal guidelines allow, and it finishes by dumping potentially lethal bacteria, lead, mercury, chromium, dioxin, and many, many more dangerous substances right into the San Pedro Bay, a popular swimming spot for tourists and wow. Los Angelians alike. But there's another massive water-based problem in LA: uh, lawns. That that's right, look at all these lush green American lawns I bet in they're the middle fake. of what should be the desert. Yeah, Californians are so proud of their stupid lawns that they're willing to risk hefty fines, poisoning oh. their entire garden using paint, or more importantly, potentially causing devastating environmental disasters. This is because LA- What? I've never heard that before. What? What? Huh? Yup, this is really happening? Huh? Isn't that like super toxin? Toxic for you? Like, isn't that really b the, like overall bad for the people living there? Is naturally this is not what it gives a shit. Dry. They gotta be they famous. All their water America, baby! <laughs> This really messes up the natural geography of California what? since the ground in the north doesn't get as much water as it naturally should because it's all funneled south. And in the south. I was thinking that all of the grass is just plastic. I didn't think they were painting over. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh my god. What the hell? I met a girl in LA who literally would be buy fancy spices once then refill them with generic so people thought it was she was classier that's 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 fucked up that's really sad actually both crops and plants are grown where they're not naturally meant to exist essentially the northern plants dry up enough to become fuel for fire and the southern ground acquires plants which act as fuel for fire that paired with the recent dry winters and record-breaking hot summers inevitably provides the other use is crazy you america like us is too big is very big it's super big it's super super big but i do think what some states for themselves they could be their own thing they could be their own country because of the way they behave and how like the politicians around it like literally structure everything they could honestly just be something completely different because they would be so vastly different from other places in the, uh, like the in the US that it they, they, there's no correlation with them and i'm gonna tell you one thing now la sounds like uh it sounds like a fever dream this doesn't i i can't believe this is real perfect circumstances for record some place in us is just nuts i don't know i guess you guys must just love those annual xl bonfires you've been hosting for the last yay years. And whilst the cause of these fires might seem very obvious and simple to you and me some americans have taken to blaming wildfires on for example ufos who've somehow used lasers of course Yes! Not all of these flammable objects we're putting everywhere in the streets and all this shit that is obviously can go f turn a little bazinga whenever we get it like into into this massive heat that they're dealing with since they're living on a desert. Holy shit! It's aliens! I love this. I If I was a... Uh, if I lived in America, I would be a conspiracy theorist. This really seems fun. Nobody, nobody thinks this where I live. Nobody thinks about aliens or anything like that. I've never heard anybody talk about that unironically. I've never in my life been anywhere in Europe and heard somebody talk about aliens unironically. But I love the fact that when somebody do. This is funny. I love this. this is to set all of California on fire. I do actually think it's aliens. Obviously, they're shooting lasers. Explains all you need to know about the type of people that live in Los Angeles. But can you really blame them when they have some of the worst public schools in the country? Uh, edit. It turns. You know what's really funny? Them. I've never seen this video before. I've seen this emote for like over a year. I've never seen this video before. <laughs> 
Even when they have some of the worst public schools in the country. Uh, edit, it turns out the private schools are just as bad, crazy and awful. And obviously kids being unable to access an acceptable level of education. Dude, it must suck being a kid there. Homelessness. But no, I don't want to use my damn money to fund no damn public sector. But I also don't understand why people are so damn stupid and can't get jobs nowadays and have to live in homeless camps. God dang it. Regarding schools though, I don't even know how kids are supposed to get there in LA. I don't know about you guys, but when I was young, me and 95% of my classmates walked to school or got the bus. Yeah, Can same. you guess what I percentage of LA commuters walk? 2% bro no wonder you guys have that problem everyone makes fun of you for and I find it hilarious that 53% of Californians say they care deeply God about damn. their carbon footprint like LA isn't even in the top 70 highest populated cities but has the fifth highest carbon emissions in the world I've also found that California the fifth high God. Highest carbon emissions in the world. I've also found that Californians like to brag about their state having the highest vegan population in America, as if that's some kind of beneficial Is that good? thing for the environment. When the state's avocado and almond farms require 2.1 billion bees to be flown in from around the world annually, 30% of which die in the process. Plus, these farms use around 28 billion gallons of water a day, which is literally cannonballing the state into ecological collapse in the form of hellfire i mean i've got to give it to them it really is quite the feat to not even have a population of four million and still rank top five for carbon emissions this is exactly how people feel i guess in la they're like they have made their avocado but half of their city is burning to out not even have a they come in yeah we did it let's go yes carbon emissions I how yes this is even possible oh <laughs> Our avocado has been made, the worst yes! Controlled urban sprawls on this planet with its 26 lane highways and absolute lack of functional public transport. And Bro, I know look at that smog. Bro, can you even see the sky? Like, what's going on here? Holy. Absolute lack of functional public transport. And I know all the America cells are right now commenting how cars are so much quicker and efficient. So explain this. It literally takes three hours to drive from one side of LA to the other. With traffic jams consistently lasting hours long. Really quick and efficient, huh? It turns out building an extra 20 lanes on highways to fix traffic is like printing more money to fix inflation. You'd only think it's a good idea if you went to Los Angeles public school in 2008 Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, uh, anyway he promised to develop a high-speed rail link from LA to San Francisco. good job man uncancelable this youtuber is uncancelable good job Francisco two major <laughs> west coast hell. metro areas which would <laughs> so benefit dumb. massively from high-speed rail since your current options to travel from one to the other are one die of boredom festering I say that time. while he's like shitting on Americans as hard as he can Really? <laughs> in the car for six hours. Option two, nine hours on the Greyhound bus, which will probably switch drivers like eight times, leading to around 12 what? hours of waiting around. On this mystical That's journey. like that's like the traveling journey to go to a different country. Like actually seven different countries. Like what is this? You can expect to smell a relaxing Ten hours. Of in and out cheeseburger farts mm. being recirculated through the bus via the AC. Or option three, uh, you could fly. American airports <laughs> were originally designed to be very efficient. Can you fly from LA to LA so you can get past the traffic? <laughs> <laughs> to pass through. But ever since, y you know, they've been a bit, uh, let's say, paranoid. Which means LAX and SFO aren't really designed to accommodate stricter security checks than if you were entering the White House. So we can all add, as recommended, two hours and fifty-nine minutes to the flight time. Oh, unless That's you're a rich dude with helicopters, beard, you oh are going to be intensely interrogated by terrified airport staff for over six hours. And then we have the proposed high-speed line, two and a half hours. It blows all other options out of the water. This is such an obviously good idea with so much potential to make money. I really hope no one messes this all up. 15 years later, the line has already costed 128 billion fucking dollars. They are currently planning to open stage one in the 2030s with Neva Los Angeles or San Francisco as part of it. Oh, that's what? right. They did the middle bit first. Oh, Apparently okay. So the government can gauge the profit margins and public reception 
and then hopefully fund the rest. Uh, the only problem is that the whole of this middle bit looks a bit like... That's right, instead of addressing any of the issues in our state, like Nobody lives education there. or homelessness that Geopold has already addressed in this video, we're spending hundreds of billions of dollars connecting the two booming, well-known Hell yeah, brother! cities, Mersand and Bakersfield. <laughs> <laughs> I do find it funny how some of the Americans I've been referencing in this video would I collapse love that video. What, sheer what is this? if they had to pay. God damn! Whoa! <laughs> a dollar of their money to the government to be used to provide essential Dude, education or essential that's the final essential boss shelter and these same guys don't even know the government has spent hundreds of billions of dollars building a train to connect cities like fucking madara and mersend and tule and i thought nothing could top hs2 in terms of overspending and at this point you might be completely in despair wondering what on earth can we do to fix all these problems well my solution is we should just give this land back to mexico if there's anything these angelinos need to sounds like a good idea delusional optimistic give it to mexico smiley, happy bubbles it's spicier food high-speed trains and more narco violence that was great dude <laughs> I didn't know that LA was that big of a mess. I was thinking maybe one day I'll try to visit LA and see what's going on there. But I'll be honest, after seeing this shit, I might as well go visit Paris again and just leave because I hated Paris. This looks awful. This looks awful. What is this? Dude, can we... Where's this small... I don't even remember. I'm gonna be honest. A lot of this sounds like... They made it up. Like, Yo. It's a lot of these things are so absurd that it feels like he's made it up. But the, I'm starting to think maybe this is all true. Maybe, maybe this, this is all true. It's not a dream. This is actually how LA is. And I'm starting questioning. I'm just questioning why anybody would even bother with it. Is it worth all of this to live on the street with three jobs just to hope to be famous is it worth it is it worth it is the fame worth it no yeah i think the same this sucks at least they have the highest vegan population so you can uh, go eat you can like sip avocados with people nom 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 yeah but that's pretty much it all right <laughs> What a dumb video. Holy shit, that was stupid. <laughs> that is so dumb. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like this is not the part of America that I like. I, I like a lot of American things, but this is, this seems like a, look like a shithole. Sip avocado. Yeah, sip avocado with your besties. Yas. Yum, 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 yum.